Hi there, I'm Dr. Tom Gowell from Indian Trail Animal Hospital. Today, I'm gonna to try to help you better understand cardiology in your dog. So there are quite a few cardiovascular conditions that can impact the health and well-being of our dogs. These include issues with the heart valve, the heart muscles, as well as heart balls. It can be secondary acquired conditions such as hypertension or high blood pressure and, and heartworm disease. And thankfully, other more rare conditions uh, that include heart-based tumors or masses. So even though all of these conditions may have their own separate set of clinical signs and symptoms, there are some basic signs and symptoms that you can clue in on on your pet's cardiovascular health. Checking for things such as a consistent cough or changes in respiration pattern, increased breathing, harder, heavier breathing, and that may progress to difficulty to breathe, more wet or productive cough, abdominal swelling, inability to exercise or run around and play as much, and in more extreme cases, collapse or fainting. So if you start to see these clinical signs on a consistent basis, it's key to bring your pet in to have them evaluated by a veterinarian. There are lots of tools that your veterinarian can use to evaluate the cardiovascular health. These include radiographs or an x-ray, a picture of the chest to evaluate the structures inside. We will look at the size of the heart, vessels, and check for fluid inside the lungs. There is an EKG which looks at the electrical activity of the heart, monitoring for chamber, heart chamber size as well as abnormal rhythms with the heart. A blood pressure machine can check for hypertension and even things like a heartworm test to check for uh, infectious disease. Based on these diagnostic results and a conversation with your veterinarian, it may be determined that the best next course of action is an echocardiogram. This is when an ultrasound probe is placed on the chest to evaluate the inside of the heart, look at the heart valves, look at the heart wall. The goal behind this diagnostic test is to not only make a diagnosis, but come up with a prognosis for your pet's cardiovascular condition. So this is key for early detection and treatment is to have these diagnostics and have these examinations performed. The recommended treatment plan may be based off of these diagnostics to continue to monitor and recheck the heart in three, six, 12 months. More advanced conditions may require medications and these are typically lifelong medications to slow that progression down of cardiovascular disease. And then lastly, in conditions like heartworm disease, we may be coming up with a specific treatment plan to eliminate those parasites. So prevention is always going to be the key factor with any kind of cardiovascular condition. A fit, annual physical examination to allow your veterinarian to listen to the heart and lungs and detect any subtle changes from the previous year so that we can make the appropriate diagnostic recommendation and plan. If you have any specific questions about your pet's cardiovascular health or condition, please contact your veterinarian at Indian Trail Animal Hospital.